Hey guys, so I'm going to do my Valentine's Day look today. Sorry it's not Valentine's Day, it's the day after. Um, but this can be used for any day really. Um, uh, this is the look that I did. It's kind of a bronzy look. And then I'm going to be doing a bold look afterwards. So that's why I didn't put eyeliner on. You can add eyeliner if you want afterwards. But yeah, this is a really simple look and I really love it. So, you can start off by priming your eyes. This is my favorite primer. It's the Hard Candy eye primer. Um, it came out only at Christmas, at least where I live. I don't know if it's different where you guys live. But I'm going to be using my e.l.f. encyclopedia. Um, this is the neutrals edition. And yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is on a large flat kind of brush, I am going to take this color right here. This kind of second one in from the top. And I'm just going to get it on my brush, just a little bit. And I'm just going to sweep it all over my eyelid up to my brow bone. And this is just going to add kind of a shimmery look to it. And yeah. So the next thing that I'm going to take is I'm going to mix this gold color right here, the second row, first one in the second row, and the last one in this row together to kind of get a gold pink look and I'm gonna mix them together on this smaller brush because you need more precision with this than you did with the other one and I'm just going to apply this to my eyelid trying to avoid the inner corner a little bit but afterwards you can go into the inner corner after you've gotten rid of a lot of the product because you don't want a whole bunch of product in the middle Next, I'm going to take just that gold color, not the pink color, and I'm just going to get some of it on my brush. We're going to do just the outer sort of part. And these shadows are quite powdery, so they will get everywhere. That's okay, you can just clean that up afterwards. Next, I'm going to take this brown color at the bottom. Um, and I'm going to get it on this brush. I'm going to put it in my outer corner. Yes, it's kind of messy, but that's okay. You can clean that up afterwards. And then I'm going to get it again on my brush, and I'm going to go into the crease to add some definition. And then I'm going just going to go over it again with that gold color. Next, I'm just going to take a blender brush, it's just the e.l.f. one. This is not cruelty free, so do not use this. It is not synthetic. I do not have any synthetic brushes at the moment, um, but I'm probably going to IMAT and I will get crown brushes, these synthetic ones at crown brush. So that is what that looks like. Then I'm going to go back in with that gold color again. And I'm just going to get it on my blender brush this time. And I'm going to just go over top again. Just get it all over the lid. And there you go. Now, you can add eyeliner if you want. My favorite eyeliner is personally the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. And this is just the one in black. But I'm actually not going to apply eyeliner because I don't want it to, to be too dark just because of the um, bright lip I'm going to be doing. But you can add eyeliner if you want. So I'm just going to skip that step and go straight to mascara. This is e.l.f.'s defining, lengthening and defining mascara. And this is in black glitter, so it's got a little bit of glitter in it. And I'm just going to apply one coat and then let it sit. Then apply another one. Just let it sit for a couple minutes and we will apply another one. But while it's sitting, I'm going to apply my Heart Candy Baked Blush in Honeymoon. And I'm going to just apply that with an angled brush and just get it on there. And just smile to find the apples of your cheeks. Put it on. Do it again to the other one. 
and considering there was quite a bit of fallout on your see I don't know if you can see that there was quite a bit of fallout I'm just going to take any matte powder works just mattifying powder I'm just gonna take Elf's complexion perfection and just apply it under the eyes to kind of sweep away any of your excess stuff you might need to go back and apply your concealer again um, but that shouldn't be a problem so I'm going to go back to the mascara and apply a second coat now just by wiggling my brush back and forth I don't want too much because this mascara does clump up if you get a little bit too much on and I'm gonna actually go quite close to the lash line to try to make it look like I have a little bit of um, eyeliner on but I don't want to actually put the eyeliner on just because yeah now uh, at the beginning I scrubbed my lips with a bubble gum lip scrub from Lush so you want to make sure that your lips are really nicely moist and you can just take any paper towel or anything I do not have one handy unfortunately um, so I'm just gonna shear out the lip balm by doing that and I'm going to actually take my lip brush where did my lip brush go? oh I didn't take it out <laughs> smarticle me and I'm going to actually take a red from Wet n Wild and it is called 911D it's just a mini one and it's just a really nice bright red and I'm just gonna get it on my lip brush I like to use red with lip brushes just because it makes it look neater I'm just gonna apply it on my lips something on there Okay. I like this red because it's mature but it's not too mature and do the same to the top And just go around making sure that it will not bleed and there you go very sophisticated but yet sexy and sweet and sussy so I hope you guys enjoyed this okay have a good day guys bye